Mark Berman for NJ.com. I'm here at the office of CRDA, that's the Casino Reinvestment Development Authority, and I have the honor of sitting down with the first video interview with the new director appointed by Governor Christie, John Palmieri. John, it is great to meet you and great to sit down with you, and I just have to say, welcome to Atlantic City. Thanks, Mark. It's, uh, it's good to be here. I'm excited. Okay, you've done this before. Hartford, Charlotte, Boston. Now you come to Atlantic City. Um, how did you perceive Atlantic City before you got here? Like, how did you see us? Well, I grew up in New Jersey. Our family is still in North Jersey. We have friends and family in South Jersey. I've been to Atlantic City over the past several years on a few occasions. And so I have a sense of the city. And listen, I see tremendous potential. A few things have to happen. The governor has taken a very uh, strong stand in giving us the authority that we need to do more. Uh, the Senate, likewise, the legislature has been behind this effort to create uh, uh, more tools and resources to get things done. And so I'm excited about it. I, I, I view Atlantic City as just a tremendous place. The ocean, the casinos, the outlet uh, uh, precinct, all tremendous assets. We just have to build from those strengths. The CRDA. Atlantic City is a city of acronyms. We have the CRDA, the ACCVA, SID. We have an SPCA. We have every, <laughs> we have everything here. This is this is so now. First, explain CRDA. Well, the the authority was was created uh, twenty odd years ago uh, with an eye toward uh, really focusing on redevelopment initiatives, principally in Atlantic City, but statewide, as well in urban centers, and. Uh, more recently, the governor and the, the Senate, and Senator Sweeney deserves a lot of credit as well, have have decided that really the resources that we we generate through casino receipts, we get a portion of the casino gross receipts, 1.25%, ought to be used to really rebuild Atlantic City. This is a very important city. It's very important to the local economy. It's a job center. And what we need to do is rebuild the integrity and the character of this city by doing good redevelopment programming, good planning, and execution. Under the CRDA banner now comes Special Improvements District and ACCVA. You've only been here three weeks. Uh, are those agencies going to remain, or will they just become part of CRDA, and now we'll just have four letters, and that will be it? <laughs> well, we've already uh, merged uh, the Improvement District group into our program. So that that's happened. Uh, SID is part of us now, the Special Improvement District. And through that through that uh, initiative, what we do is the ambassadorial services. We have people on the street. We have people to provide assistance and guidance and cleaning the streets uh, within the precinct, within the district. And so that's very important, as well as doing some planning and marketing. Uh, the ACCVA, and I'm getting used to the acronyms. It's taken me a while, Mark. <laughs> ACCVA uh, has, has about two years before it will formally be merged with uh, CREDA. And uh, between now and then, the understanding is that we'll be uh, creating a relationship, uh, building programs together, doing the convention sales and the related marketing as part of ACCVA's historic mission. Mm -hmm. They'll continue to do that until we work on a kind of a transfer agreement. But formally and through legislation, that happens two years from the date that we have our master plan in place. And the master plan is something that is happening right now. Over the next three or four months, that'll be done. Atlantic City is going to be rebranded as a resort destination. Now, you know, this comparison with Vegas, I'll be honest with you, it's tired. It's just tired. It's, it's just somewhere that we shouldn't even go anymore. We can't be comparing ourselves to Vegas. Two different animals. That's, that's just my opinion. But there, there's a company out there that everybody knows. If we go out and we say, hey, have you ever heard of Sandals Resorts? Now, everybody knows them, and they're just a resort. Can we get that velocity of branding and that high velocity in the nation where you can go and they own a couple resorts, we're a whole town. Can we achieve that? That's an important question. Uh, absolutely. We need to do our own branding. And the uh, Atlantic City Alliance, Liza Cartmel, who recently got hired to represent the interests of the Alliance, which is really a, a group of the senior casino uh, owners, uh, will be devoting upwards of about $30 million a year to rebranding, re remarketing the city, creating a marketing campaign, a PR campaign, a communications strategy in concert with us, 
and other partners, but that is going to be critical to the success of the city. We need to market the city's assets, and we need to build, as I said, on these strengths. Well, what can we be doing to create a safer, more attractive city? Together, I think, with the resources that Liza's group brings, we'll be able to you know, actually promote and advance the mission through doing some smart marketing. So that is central to what whatever we do here to succeed will be based in large measure on what we can do to market and promote the assets that exist. You heard it here, but your toughest job, I'm going to tell you what it's going to be. I'm serious. We're 48 blocks of fun. We have 150 restaurants in 48 blocks. Your toughest job is where you're going to figure out where you're going to eat. <laughs> you know, I've never had much of a problem. As a kid who grew up in uh, in Hoboken, I, I've, I've always managed to find the good places. I, I'm new to the city. I'm learning about some of the, the bistros and restaurants and the casino uh, venues. I'll figure it out with your help, maybe. John Palmieri, I am excited. If you saw the other interview with Lisa Cartmel, I'm excited. Liza and, and John together, really, Atlantic City needs this. And I'm on board, and this is Mark Berman for NJ.com.